Hi, my name's Sonia Lee, and I'm about to tell you a little bit about my story. It's been such a long time since I drove 18 to Daddy's Drive. Yeah, so much has changed. I grew up around music. Uh, my grandfather and my father, who played the guitar and sang and write, we all used to just kind of pick around the living room. So I was always around music, and that just inspired me from the time I could even understand what music was. When I was 14 years old, I was I was writing a whole bunch of songs. All I would do is write in my room all the time. I think my parents were kind of worried about me because I never came out. A family friend asked me to kind of write her a song for her boyfriend, and that's kind of where it all started. She took me to play it for him. I played it for him. Then he asked me to play some more songs for him. I did. and. He took me to Atlanta a couple of days later to do just kind of a small demo. There was a guy who worked for Electra Records who happened to be passing through the studio and gave us his number and all. And I think my parents thought I was too young for all that, and we really never followed through. Years later, I have come back to the hometown. I found the number somehow, called the guy, and uh, he remembered me and hooked me up with a producer. It's really been a domino chain of events for me. One thing led to another. I really can't just pinpoint one thing that made it all happen. It just really was a, a series of events that convinced me that this was really what I was supposed to do. I can change it now. It's extremely important for me to be on Southern Ground. When Zach approached me about signing to Southern Ground, I thought, well, there's not a better place that I could be um, around people who just let me be myself, who I love and, and have known forever. And they really love my music, and I love their music, and we really get along. It's really all about the hang, and the hang is, has been there for so long. They're like my big brothers. The process with Zach was great. He really, really opened up the style a little bit for me and pushed me vocally in the studio as well. I flew out to California. I can't say it was a waste of time. I was staring in the eyes of the burning hills and the Hollywood lights. All this is just such a blessing to me. I live on the road. I live to be on the road. If I'm in one place too long, I get antsy. That's just how it is. And, you know, I had the opportunity to play with Loretta Lynn a couple nights to open for her. And I was talking to her tour manager because she's in her 80s. And I was like, does she have to be out here? He said, no, she really wants to be out here. You know, she said her husband's passed and her kids are grown. And that's, that's the kind of artist that I am. And I hope that I live to be like her, to, to stay on the road until I'll kick the bucket. <laughs>